guys, today I'm super excited to talk to you about the new movie, Abigail. Now this movie comes to theaters on April 19th and I had so much fun with this movie. Now if you've been around my channel for a while, you know I love a horror movie, especially if it's gonna give me gore and pure insanity. And if you've watched the trailer for Abigail and seen my reaction up here, you know that's exactly what I wanted from this movie and that is exactly what I got from this movie. So this is literally a movie about ballerina vampires. Well, a, a specific ballerina vampire. The trailer, my main thing is I really wish the trailer hadn't given away that this little girl is a vampire because you do kind of spend the first 20 minutes or so in the movie being like, all right, let's get to it. We all know it's coming. Let's go. Now, if there had been a little bit more of a mystery as to like, who's a vampire? What's happening? You know, maybe they could have worked the trailer a little differently, left a little more suspense there, but I'm still not mad at it because when it starts, it starts. First of all, the movie's great from the beginning. The cast is phenomenal. Rest in peace to Angus Cloud, because he is so damn good in this. We missed out on so many amazing things that man was going to do. Um, Your Lucky Day recently with him is, is proof that he's incredible than this. I mean, all of his body of work, uh, he's absolutely going to be missed. He's so good in this. His dynamic with Catherine Newton especially is fantastic. And I love Catherine Newton in this movie. She's phenomenal as well. Um, she's got this feel about her that's just, she's really, really good. Like we just saw her in Lisa Frankenstein, right? Sort of the same feel maybe a little bit. I don't know. She's fantastic. Then we could have, of course, Mr. Dan Stevens, one of my favorite people ever. I think he's so phenomenal. I've loved him since Legion. I've never seen Down Abbey, guys. Sorry, I know everybody says it's so good. I just haven't dived into it yet. But I loved him in Legion. I think he was perfect. He's got some of my favorite uh, television sequences ever in that series. If you haven't checked it out and you're a Marvel fan, even if you're not a Marvel fan, check that out. Uh, but Dan Stevens in this, oh my gosh, he's so good. There's so much I want to talk about, but I don't want to ruin the movie. But he's just phenomenal. Just his his character arc through the movie. Like, he's so good. He's so he's kind of badass like but he's I don't know I can't spoil it but he's just he's so good he's so good in this and Melissa Barrera come on she she's really the heart and soul of this movie okay she really is this is a bonkers campy gory vampire ballerina movie horror movie it, it, that's what it is but she's like the heart and soul at the center like oh I'm gonna give this a little bit of a little bit of like touching moments but she's also super badass now, if you guys saw Ready or Not, this feels like Ready or Not on crack, okay? And I love Ready or Not. It's one of my favorite movies. This really, truly feels like that. You know, you've, you're trapped in this one place, essentially, right? They're in this house with this killer ballerina vampire. And there's people getting picked off, right? It's very clear from, from the trailer that it's kind of what happens here. That's exactly like Ready or Not, right? And Ready or Not, this one girl's there. She's got to hide in this mansion overnight. Well, this family, these people hunt her down, right? This is exactly the same sort of premise, but taken to like a thousand percent. It's bananas. This movie is so much fun. I was laughing. I wanted to cheer, but I didn't because I was in a press screening. But there were times I wanted to be like, yes, they did not just go there. Oh my God. It was so good. It's so bloody. It's so gory. There's jump scares. Like it's so, but it's not like relying on jump scares you know what I mean but there's certain moments and it's mostly sound stuff you know where like a bam or something will get you for a second um not so much things jumping out uh although oh, Abigail's phenomenal right the little little ballerina vampire she's crazy that girl is so good that actress she's phenomenal everyone in this is so good and I think that's what makes it work so well they all really balance each other out they all really work well together um, and I had so much fun with it. It's absolutely bonkers. It's bananas. There was one question I had and I talked to my friend, shout out to BJ from Slash Film. She's pretty much an expert in vampire lore. And I was like, I got one little question and I'm pretty sure I know the answer to it, but I needed to make sure, just to make sure there wasn't like a massive plot hole in the movie. And I was right. Thanks to her, I knew it's not. So if you have questions, there's one thing I'm sure, it's the only thing you'll question. Uh, and it is, is, don't worry, it's not a plot hole. You go back in vampire lore, this is like a real thing. And that's all I'll say, because I don't really want to uh, spoil it for you. But this movie is so much fun. It's an absolute blast. Um, if you like horror, and it's gory, but it's not like 
too, well, I was going to say it's not like too gory, but then in my head I thought of a few moments that are pretty, they're pretty gory. It's pretty intense, but it's so much fun. It's, it's so, it's like exactly what you want in a movie like this. I'm like, give me all the sequels. I will watch this forever and ever and ever. I don't even care. Make this a massive franchise. I'm in. Um, this cast was incredible. It was so much fun. It flies by. The score is incredible. The, some of the stunt work and the sequences they have. Oh my gosh, it's insane. The action sequences are, are bananas. The kills are crazy. The kills that we get is, I don't even know how much fake blood they use in this thing, but it must have been a lot. Uh, it's so, 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 so much fun. Um, so be sure to check it out in theaters April 19th. If by the time you got to this review, you've already seen Abigail. Let me know what you thought down below in the comments. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos like this one. Follow me over on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and you guys can check me out at mamasgeeky.com. Thanks. I'll see you next time.